Hey guys, how to start your WordPress consulting business. What are the skills that you need and what are the first steps? Well, the skills that you need, first of all, is you have to know how to install and set up and configure WordPress, number one. Number two, you gotta learn your basics of HTML, CSS. You should learn a little bit of PHP because WordPress is created with PHP and knowing PHP will allow you to have better control over WordPress, specifically, when you get into the theming, the themes are the visual parts of WordPress, and there's tons and tons and tons of themes out there, uh, some very, very elaborate and so forth. And you may never have to get into the code depending on the type of theme, but if you really wanna learn how to build themes from scratch, you don't necessarily need the PHP, but it will help when you understand even just the basics of PHP. So I recommend that, just a good beginner's course will get you up and running there. So yeah, of course, the next thing is you have to learn how to create, install, and configure themes with WordPress. And again, you don't have to know every single thing, but you should be comfortable with it. And I would get to know the big theme providers. There's big uh, theme providers out there like Woo Themes and there's others, just so you know what's available, so you can understand, understand that. Also understand the plugin architecture. WordPress has a plugins uh, capabilities, and there's a huge world of plugins, but it's a very dangerous world because a lot of plugins could be uh, uh, tunnels where hackers could hack your WordPress, so be very careful about that. Understand how plugins are rated, understand uh, which plugins are, are super useful or not. And you have to get into the WordPress community, wordpress.org, get in there, start searching, there's rating systems, and really understand that and understand the implications of using different plugins. And this, of course, the plugins will be impacted by the themes that you might utilize or commercial themes, and they have capabilities. There can be some conflicts between plugins and themes, et cetera, et cetera. These are things you just have to get an overview about what's out there. So what you as a WordPress consultant or professional, when a small business client approaches you, wants to do this or that, the other thing with WordPress, or wants to install WordPress, or wants to update WordPress, you're gonna be well aware of the landscape, what's available, what you can leverage to do. Remember, in coding, the top three rules of coding is reuse, 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 just like in real estate, it's location, location, location. So same thing as a WordPress professional, you don't wanna start trying to reinvent things from scratch, building themes from scratch, it's not necessarily the best thing you want to do. You want to basically start with a basic theme, maybe modify that. You don't want to try to come up with uh, your own plugins, although that may be required at some point, depending on the needs of your client. That's where your PHP will come in with PHP, HTML, CSS. But you want to know what the plugins are out there so you can just leverage what's out there already. I would be more inclined to commercial plugins and free ones, although there are, there are plenty of great free plugins, plenty of great ones out there, but commercial ones offer a level of protection because they are commercial. The code is not out there for everybody to see so easily. That's the downside of free. Free means it's open. People can see, hackers can go in and see the flaws in the uh, free WordPress plugin code. So commercial has some level of security and protection there. And there you go. So that's in terms of the technical skills, which you have to understand to get into WordPress, uh, become a WordPress professional. Next thing is how do you get the clients? Well, you got to put up a site, you got to put up a WordPress site, you got to start uh, talking about WordPress. And then what you got to do is you got to have uh, a couple of um, showcase clients real WordPress sites that are live that you, you can show people. And you may have some friends who need a WordPress site. Local business owners, small business owners may need a website, put them on WordPress, do the one or two for free, small ones. And by doing that, there's gonna be word of mouth, there's gonna be communications and so on. Remember, many, 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 many small businesses run on WordPress. And small businesses are less likely to wanna to outsource to a different country. So if you're a North American or European developer or Australian developer and you're worried that uh, you're gonna lose out to uh, uh, you know, more competitive people who live in India because uh, rent is so much cheaper there, houses, housing is so much cheaper there so they can charge much less and still live very well, you have to contend with that to a limited extent because one of the big things 
that you have to understand about small business owners is that they don't have time to start researching all over the place. Number two, they want to be able to communicate and see people. And though, uh, for instance, the Indians, great people, uh, they speak English. It's not the same English as Australian English. It's not the same English as North American English, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's all there's sometimes due to cultural issues and due to slight language issues, issues of communication. And that's huge. It could uh, really mess up a project because things are miscommunicated. And I can tell you from personal experience, even in person, it creates a bit of a hassle sometimes. But imagine, you know, at a distance. So, yes, you might have some that situation where you might have to compete with the third party, but you just tell if the small business owner is one of the rare, intrepid few that is looking that way, say, listen, you know, listen, I'm local. There's all the advantages of dealing with me directly. You can, you can get a hold of me every time. Good communication. And that's why, if you think back a few blogs ago, I talk about communication skills are key to being successful as a uh, developer, whether you be a WordPress developer or a professional, or whether you be a coder who's building apps from scratch in PHP or in Java or in uh, Python or whatever language, pick it. All right, I hope that helps. This is what you got to do. And uh, if you follow those steps, I've seen it many, many, many times, you will eventually, maybe sooner than later, you will eventually start getting clients, start building up your client base and so on. It works. It's a tried and tested method. Many of my mentees have gone on and done well, and whether it be with WordPress or just general development or general web design and so on. There you go. Bye-bye.